go for it. Yes. All right, give me five, please. Yes. Yeah. Welcome back world, we out here, Blading Camp 2022 edition here south of Spain and today my idea is to bring for you guys an episode where I decide to work on my weaknesses. We're stationing a mini ramp now, I see Joe Atkinson and I'm gonna ask him for some tips on a flat pipe. It's a trick I've never done on a mini ramp or on a quarter pipe. Wish me luck guys, let's get on it. Try to do it. Whoa. What do you say about that? Wow. Bien? Huh? Bien. You do your PC. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. The man himself. Yo, what's up? What's up, Joe? Chilling, mate. What are we gonna do? Flat fives? Flat fives. Can you help me Sounds on this good. one, please? Sounds good. I think so. You saw me doing the flat three? Yep. And uh, where do I go from there? You're gonna to need to push out a little bit on this one. Yeah. As it's quite mellow. So. Also, the coping is sticking out a little bit. Yeah, and, so uh, find a good, good point. You just gotta sit back into it. Just take a back seat when you're in the air. Take a back seat. Yeah, take a back seat. And then when you come around, you spot your landing. When you do it, it, your legs go more up or more sideways? I can use my abs to kind of pull myself around, you know? Like, okay, the, use the abs. Solve the abs, yeah about holding the body while you spin as well not just the spinning are you gonna try grab or i would go for safety, safety grab, yeah. just for a more compact yeah, yeah. uh i know how safe, to safe. do it on a on a jump box uh -huh. but here the tricky question is i have no idea where i'm gonna end up so best yeah, thing yeah. i think you've just gotta go for it give me one try and let's see from right. there do you film? yeah i think i'm going on around here it also goes like um, gopro stop recording Okay, Nils. It's looking good. I almost, um, I, I was kind of aware of what's going on. Like you're really flipping it, whereas like I kind of just do let go a more off axis like flat spin vibe. It seems like you're flipping it more. But about the landing, so I was all on my back. I'm not just like flying noodle yeah. in the air, yeah, but yeah. I kind of actually like pull it together. Yeah. And I guess the thing is. Yeah. Going forward with my yeah. shoulders. Right. Let's go for it. Flat. Abs. From... Nice. Please tell yes. me how can I roll away from this? Yeah, when you come around, just uh, just feel where you need to be, man. You, you know, take your own take your own advice. Eh? <laughs> nice. I catch the grab. Yes. I feel like yeah, I forget to use my abs, and uh, I throw myself, and then I'm like. Not doing anything and mm -hmm. i end up on my ass you're focusing too much on on like actually getting into the rotation but now you need to think okay i'm in the rotation how do i get out of it think about it in one nice fluid motion and then visualize yourself connecting to the ramp landing and even if you're a little bit in the back seat when you land like slowly just bring your weight forward as soon as you get you make contact with it with your feet then Pull yourself back or forward or wherever you need to be. Yeah. Like my arms are always pointing down. So when I get, up, it's completely blind for the first uh, 360. Yeah, in the middle you can start spotting the and landing. When I get to the 360, my arms pointing down and I'm looking into the quarter pipe, ready to come in. Okay, it's here, this moment. Wow. Yeah. And here I'm like, okay, there's the yeah. landing. Point where you're going. Thanks, Joe. Yes. For me, I figured out the rotation. I know how to do it on a trampoline, on a lounge box. I know how to do flat three on a quarter. The rotation is there. Now I just need to prepare for landing. I'm gonna try to push out a little bit more. So I'm landing not so close to the coping and I have more time to prepare. Let's get it, please, flat five. Push out, especially on this mini ramp. Yes, that was better. I think I'm also getting kind of a little scared of going too much forward. So mm. I'd rather just play it safe and all the time land on my yeah. ass. And now's the time. There's, there's 80 grand up for grabs. And you just like... And all you need to do is land this trick. <sighs> Let's do it. 
Yes. You were not, you were it's like I haven't experienced rolling away from it. That's why I'm like, yeah. I don't know what to kind of prepare for it. Right now. Staggy your feet. What is staggy? Stag feet? Staggy your feet a bit. You know, you want to have a bit of a, a stagger when you land. Stagger. So you're not gonna flip out. Ah. And your this one. Arms out, ready to land. Check it out. Yeah, yeah, show us I one of those learned. flat fives. I uh, just learned this one, check it out. Almost! Flat spins are like the most hardest, weirdest tricks to, uh, to learn and to teach as well. Someone tried to do a flip and they landed. just, yeah, went off axis on it's a 360. Like flat backflip? No, no yeah, backflip and they landed flip. flat spin. Oh. It feels so natural yeah. to spin like this. Yeah, I just use, need to use more power. I'm kind of relaxing too much, I think. Whoa. Oh, I tried there and go with the red shoulder. Bam! Roll away. You gotta push back a bit more and like, and lean back into the ramp more. Unless you're gonna air it higher, you're gonna need to like go lean fast? inside the pipe. You gotta be really in the barrel. If I go slower, uh, and that way I need to push. Yeah, try, try, try. Maybe go a little slower. I think the best way to teach it is to say, become soy. Just become soy, and just, just throw your body into that rotation. Oh, be soy sauce. Yeah, my legs are slowly giving up to get my power together to have the nice little push, and then prepare for land. So close! That was the first sketchy one. Give me five, please. Ah. This is it. Try number one hundred. I got one that theoretically counts, but I'm not sure I'm gonna do it with a grab today. Maybe in the next skate park, but I'm happy enough. Let's let's try to clean it up and we gotta bounce to the next park. All right, Yuri, give me five. Let's go. Yeah! That's it, that counts. That counts. That's right. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for the. Uh, thanks for the few tips. Right. What a hard day at Wellington. Really hard thing to teach flat spins. This ramp. Um, you just have to. I'm gonna take it to a nicer ramp. Figure it out. Yeah. Right step guard. one: know how to spin, and step two is like. Yeah. Prepare your body for landing. Thank you. That's it. Flat five. We gotta bounce now. My knees started giving up. Day five of skating here at Bedding Camp. Make sure to shop it. Proceeds.com, catch your blades there. Boom, check out Hannah's Care. They got some sick new blade. Sick new gear at Hannah'sCare.com and get your skates at Proceeds.com. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's skate a little bit more on the second part. Go to the beach now. Spanish weather is boiling hot. It's absolutely a good time. So everybody's learning some stuff, pushing themselves, pushing the limits. And I did so as well today. Thanks, Joe, for the tips. And uh, yeah. It's good, it's hard, but the feeling is definitely worth it. Let's get it. Healing ocean, Rolf. Oh, hello. Hello, beach time? We out here, chilling on the final park of the camp. Gonna put skates on, cruise a little bit. Final session with the campers. That's gonna be it for the blading week number two of 2022 absolute good times
Yo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Thank you guys once again for tuning in. Check out all the links in the description. Hope you enjoyed my process challenge of the flat five today. Thank you, Joe, for learning me that one. Go skate, have fun, take care, and see you real soon back at the channel. Peace out.